Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Owner asked me a good question a little while ago. He said, Kirk, how are you going to get all these corners true and plumb? Now, what we have been doing is, a lot of these corners, we're doing a whole foundation repair here. But just for the sake of showing one particular corner, I'll, I'll point this out how we get these true and plumb. And this corner here was uh, already four to six, possibly eight inches out in a lot of areas. So what I've done is, I put multiple coats in each coat. Now, this is set. We've been here a couple hours now. I put a co about three coats on this, and now I've got it to where I could actually use my rod. And so, I'm going to put this rod right here, and this is going to give me one corner. Now, generally what I'll do is i got a vertical corner here, and then I have a horizontal corner here. I'm going to fill up my hawk with this and come out this way. Just take some cement and just keep filling it. And it's going to have a tendency to want to keep coming down. That's okay. I'll just keep going back over it. Just like that. Where now if Jay wasn't on that camera, he'd be holding one side of this. Garvey, and I would be using the other side so that I'm not struggling with one hand plaster. But anyway, this is how we get our corners. Uh, we take it this way. Now, this Darby, if I pull it this way, it's going to break the whole corner off. So I'm going to pull it straight up and out. And this, you got to go kind of slow. You just, this way here. Uh, like that. Now that corner is ready when it sets in another 10 minutes, then I'll hit this other side. When I do the horizontal corner, it's a similar situation. Where I'm going to set this garby here, kind of hold it with my feet, lay a whole bunch of stuff up on top of that, like so, and just fill it up like that. When I pull this rod now, I'm going to go straight down. Now I just put this on, so it's got. To, usually, I let it set a couple minutes, and then I just come downward like so, real slow. And that'll give me a straight corner here, straight corner here, and in about five minutes, I'll come back to this side. And then I'll hold the rod this way and fill it up. Pull it. And that's how we're getting all these corners true and plumb. Like, say, this guy here. This has got a couple coats on it prior, but we're leaving that to set. And as we take a few hours to go around, it just takes a bit of practice to know when you can hit things and when you got to let them set. So, I thought I'd point that out because the honest was pretty curious. And I said, actually, when we're done with this job today, you'll be able to see it online see exactly how we do these corners or you can stand in and watch. Anyway, this is Kirk with Kirk Joe Down the Classroom. We'll see you folks on the next one.